Okay, so you've decided you want to try this out and see what it's about. So we'll try to walk you step by step here through what you need to do to create uh, some online spreadsheets that you can link to with your smartphone to enter your ranch records. So uh, the first thing you want to do is go to the Google homepage at just google.com um, and then either sign in or create an account. Uh, this is free process. I'm going to sign in because I've already got an existing account. So once you get signed in, um, you can see there your name appears to show that you're signed in. Uh, we're going to go to Google Drive. Okay, So it's right up there at the top in the middle. If I click Google Drive, it opens a list of all of our documents uh, that are shared under Google Drive. Uh, if you're just getting started with this, uh, you won't you won't have any documents. So um, what I did for uh, I've got a folder I've created in here called Example Rec ranch records okay um, and that's where all these uh, spreadsheets that we're going to create are housed um, so we've got three of them in there already uh, and we're going to create a new one and then I'll show you how to link to these different spreadsheets and uh, how to link them onto your smartphone so uh, let's assume we don't have any and we're starting from scratch so what we want to do is hit the create button here at the top left and it gives us the different options that we can create. We're going to create a spreadsheet. All right, so here it opens up a spreadsheet onto our screen. And uh, first thing we can do is title the spreadsheet. Now, if you remember, I had calf records, I have grazing records, I have livestock inventory. Uh, let's create one that has to do with animal health records. Okay, so I'm going to title this spreadsheet animal health record records all right okay so there it's got the title so I want to think about the things that I would like to keep track of in terms of animal health records and I'm going to put those items across the columns here at the top. Uh, so when we think about uh, treatment of different animals, uh, the, what are the things that we'd want to know? Well, I think on a ranch we might want to know the type of animal. Okay, Is it a cow? Is it a calf? Is it a yearling? Is it a bull? So on. Uh, the other thing we might want to know is the date of treatment. Yeah. We perhaps we also might want to know the medications delivered. All right. And uh, we might want to know any symptoms. And we might just want to, I always like to leave a field for notes. So say I wanted to write something down. Now you see this one here spilled into two columns. If you're familiar with working in Excel, this works very similar to Excel. Just move your cursor till it turns to that, left click, and then drag it to the right to expand that column. Uh, so it might you might want to know other things than these things I've chosen. You might want to uh, have quite a few more. Uh, I would caution you if you don't see yourself using it for making decisions on the ranch, uh, I, I wouldn't put it on there. So, um, you know, it, I guess you could add it, and then if you see you're not using it, delete it later. But I think sometimes we tend to uh, overcomplicate things and, and keep track of too many uh, things. So I'm going to give this a little formatting. If I select it and bold that top line and then choose some borders and put a nice heavy bottom border on it, okay, now it kind of separates that top line from the others. So now we've got a spreadsheet and let's enter uh, something here. So let's say we wanted to treat a cow. Uh, date of treatment was today. Uh, medications delivered was biomyosin. Uh, 30, uh, let's say cow would be 60 cc's. Symptoms, foot rot. And notes, back left leg back left foot there we go so that might be how you would enter a treatment record you know what we're gonna need a, a, a number for the animal aren't we we forgot to do that so I right clicked that I'm gonna say insert one to the left okay gives me a blank one here and number there we go so now I've got another field added there and this cow might have been number 241 okay 
So I hope you're you're following along okay. It's all fairly simple up to this point. Um, here's where it, it really gets interesting, I think, uh, to where we can uh, make this work good for our smartphone. We want to create a form based upon this spreadsheet. So if I look under Tools and I say Create a Form, you see it's the first link down there, okay? So what this does is this creates a, a web page that takes our uh, information on this spreadsheet and it turns it into a more friendly format that can be used for uh, entering data. Um, as we create this, this is essentially, uh, we can add an item, uh, we can edit these items that it automatically has added for us, uh, and we, we can do different things there. So let's look at what might work well for, uh, for each of these things. Under type of animal, I think it would make some sense to have this, instead of be an open-ended text box, to be where a user would choose from a list. And that way, everybody's calling a cow a cow. We don't have, um, you know, a, for example, a, a heifer. Somebody might put in yearling heifer. Somebody might put in heifer calf. Um, if we wanted to keep those things the same, it would make more sense to have all the users choosing from the same list of animals than entering their own. So. We're going to provide the user with a, a list of different animals they can choose from. So you see here in the question type, type I, choo I said choose from list, and now I enter the choices that someone could make. So we're going to say cow, calf, uh, yearling, heifer calf. Uh, well let's, that might be confusing with calf, so let's say yearling heifer, a replacement heifer. Maybe we have a bull, maybe we have a horse. Okay, so your again, your choices might be different from what I've done. We can choose to make this a required question. I'd, I'd like to probably not do that, um, and unless you really absolutely have to. Number, I don't really think there's anything to change on there. Uh, date of treatment, medications delivered, symptoms, and notes. All right, it all looks good to me, so let's save it. Okay, and then we can, what we want to do is essentially provide the users a link to this form that they can uh, put on their smartphone. So um, we're, I'm going to email this form and I'm going to email it to myself. This is just one way of doing this. You can do it several different ways. Uh, animal health records include the form in the email. Sure, send it over to myself. Okay, so now you're looking at the email. Uh, here is the animal health records form. Um, there it is on a link, and there's the there's the form. So, okay, so here's an idea. If you want to keep your uh, records handy on your uh, computer, you can just take this uh, URL up here at the top of the screen, which essentially you know tells you the website that you're going to and select it all and do a control C for copy and then come to your your desktop here and you can create a new folder and let's title that ranch records okay and in that new folder we could put a a new shortcut okay and that shortcut we do a control V to, to paste the link to that page and then we title the name of it for animal health form. Okay, So that takes us to our, our data entry form. So if we sat down at our computer and wanted to add a, a health record, uh, it would open that form and we could add a health record from our computer. Okay, so let's add one just to see how it works. Calf number is 500. Okay, date of treatment is tomorrow. Medications delivered, um, Mike O'Till. Um, I'm not sure how many, I can't remember how many CCs it might be. Uh, symptoms might be a respiratory, and notes would be really bad. Okay. There we go. Your response has been recorded. Um, now, another thing we might want to put in there would be our uh, link to our to our actual spreadsheet. So, if I went under Ranch Records, here are our 
calf records or animal health records okay there's the link to our spreadsheet so I could also add that link under this form that we just created on our desktop so I'm gonna add another shortcut there's the name of it and we're gonna call it animal health records okay so there's a uh, if we wanted to open our our animal health records here they are so we see we've got a calf when you use the form it always puts a timestamp on it so it tells the and that that is sometimes useful information now it lets you know when you entered that record uh, calf is that number there's its treatment records uh, there's the cow and in its treatment records we've got a blank one in there we can always come in here and and clean up our data by uh, deleting those out of there so uh, that's how it works on the computer. Now we'll go to the smartphone and show you how to how to add that to your smartphone.